Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, ready for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Before I get started today, once again, just want to say thank you for all the great comments and all the observations you guys are making. As I have said before, if you are new to this channel and new to me playing this game, I am in no way, shape, or form an expert on either the history of naval warfare or on tactics or on anything related to it. I know just enough just to make me dangerous, but... Um, as my name suggests, the history guy, I, I do have a background in history. That's what I studied in college. Uh, but very little of that background has to do with naval history. I'm much more versed on military history on the ground. Uh, foot soldiers uh, going all the way back, uh, especially to um, British medieval history, monarchies, things like that. And then mostly a lot of American history. I know a lot about World War II, but not nearly enough about the, the naval action in World War II. I'm working on that. Uh, my great-grandfather served on the USS Wyoming, which was a dreadnought battleship, and uh, so I'm trying to learn all I can about the ship on which he served and the others like it. Uh, if you would and you haven't already, please subscribe. I've had a ton of new subscribers every day. I'm trying. Uh, we're on a push to get to 10,000 subscribers on this channel. It's going to unlock some new features for me that are not currently available uh, to YouTube content creators until you get to the 10,000 subscriber level. So that'll be a big help to me moving forward. All right, let's dive in. Today we're going to try something a little different. You guys have been asking to see destroyers. Uh, so I played around with this a little bit earlier just to see what it was like. And as always, you've got this decision to make right off the bat with uh, do you want shells and torpedoes or a balanced tech bonus. I think I actually would prefer to have the balanced tech, but here's what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, the mission here is to take on a heavy cruiser and five transports. Uh, you don't have to destroy the cruiser to win the battle, mainly the transport. So I want to have torpedoes available to try and just bombard that, uh, just you know, overwhelm. The cruiser with torpedoes and i'm going to try to save my guns for sinking the transports all right so here's what i think i'm going to go with on this um what i've got so far is uh two sets of uh, three or r i should say two sets of three uh, torpedo tubes i've got two five inch guns i'm going to primarily use those to take out the transports i've got my front tower i still need a uh sec oh, i have my secondary tower i need a funnel uh, we'll just go with standard, I think, for now. All right, we'll go there. Actually, I think I'd prefer to put that up here. And I'll move the torpedoes back. And um, we'll get at least a basic range, or a decent range finder until I see where I'm at on everything else. Let's get the biggest torpedoes we can go with. These are 250% damage on the torpedoes. That does add to the weight and it does add to the cost. Let's take a look here what else I want to do. All right, so, so far I've got Harvey armor. Uh, again, we'll probably have to see where the cost goes with this. I'm down to only being able to have four destroyers at this point. So I don't know. Um, this is going to make engine costs go way up too here. So eh, not too much, I guess. We've got to offset the weight a little bit. It's not going to make a huge difference, unfortunately. I don't think I can go up any further with this rear. No, I'm already kind of maxed out. So I'm probably, ah, darn it. Probably going to have to do something to... Ah, the weight's not too bad now. I really don't like the speed right now, though. I wish I could do more with that. And speed is heavy. You can see how much it costs on weight to change that speed to get it up to 28, 29 knots. We'll go to 28 for now. Um, reinforced bulkheads isn't going to make a big change oh it did it changed me from having four destroyers to having three i'm not going to worry a whole lot about protection because this is about there's one heavy cruiser this is about having more uh and the more i have the more targets he has the uh the longer i have to try and take out these five transports 
Um, I've got 22 inch torpedoes, which are the biggest ones I can go with because they'll cause the most damage. It changes the cost a lot though. So I'm wondering if it's worth it. Now it still doesn't get me down to having five. So I'm not too worried about the, the shells so much. Although having the heavier shells may be a good thing. Okay. Um, nope. Just got to sacrifice something, I guess. So that's where we're at. We're at a 28 knot ship. And uh, I'm going to draw back this displacement a little bit to save some more cost. Uh, if I get that down to 20%, I could have five. But I don't think that's going to happen. Let's look at armor. Acoustics. I'm not too worried about locating his torpedoes because he's only going to have one ship firing torpedoes. And that's really what this is about is torpedo spotting. Uh, radio. My ships are all going to stay pretty close, so I'm not too worried about that either. Let's see. How much is this going to change the cost? It didn't at all. Interesting. Why is the cost not changing when I change the armor? Oh, those two are all 50%. This one's 25. I'm a little confused why the cost is not changing on my ships. Oh, because I don't have armor. That would be why. There is no armor on this ship right now. That's why the cost isn't changing. Now, again, you know, I'm not too worried about protection, but I am going to at least try to get my deck and my belt covered as much as I can. One and a half as high as I can go with it. I'm not going to worry about my turrets too much. And I'm not sure that this makes a huge difference, but we'll go ahead and. Oh, that dropped me to. Only having three destroyers, so that does make a difference. All right, I think that's where we're going to be. Uh, we could probably drop the displacement some more. Save a little bit more on cost, maybe. I guess that's as low as we're going to be able to go. No, it did let me go down to a 1,000. But still not enough to really change anything. I think we're where we're going to be. Torpedo accuracy, that would actually be really helpful. Fast speed, but worst accuracy. Range is shorter that way. All right, let's go with the most accurate ones we have. And it makes it harder for him to detect them. So maybe that's the way we go. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. I'm going to have four destroyers going up against a heavy cruiser and five transport ships. The Austro-Hungarians versus the Chinese. An interesting mix. And it looks like we're actually at kind of a, an interesting time of day. We've got one hour to make this happen, so it's not an, an, you know a forever amount of time. Which way are we headed here? Oh, we didn't spot them yet. Okay. All right, we'll come back when we have some contact. All right, here we go. We've made contact. Not sure with what yet. That looks like his cruiser, though. It is. We've got our first torpedoes already in the water. Mainly, I want to find where his transports are, though. All right, we know we're going to keep going that direction. I don't expect these five-inch guns to do too much.
Man, he got lucky. Oh, no, I thought that was him hitting me. It was just my guns firing. No, he did hit me. Okay. His first shot that I saw come out of that ship landed. No, that was me hitting him. It was. Okay. Didn't do much damage, but I did hit him. But he's not the guys I'm after right now. There's torpedoes in the water? No. Nope. Just the waves. Where are your transports, dude? It must be on the other side of them somewhere. There we go. That's who I want. The cruiser is irrelevant, except for the fact that he's the only thing that's going to keep me from completing the mission. Although maybe, as close as I am, I want to try and get a spray, uh, spread of torpedoes on him while I can. If I can sink him, then it's just target practice on these transports. So I'm exposing myself to him a little bit here, but that's okay. How close are we on these torpedoes? They're getting there. Uh, the other one's fired more recently. He hadn't hit me yet. Probably shouldn't speak too soon. Yep. No sooner had I said that than he hit me. There come some more tor torpedoes his way. Oh! And they paid for it too. But I think I might have him. I might have him this time. He is not getting away from these torpedoes. So yeah, my lead ship took it, but he's going to get hit by at least a couple of these guys. There's one. There's two. Sacrificed my, my lead destroyer to get a couple of hits on him. Let's keep it up. I'm going to keep the pressure on. If I can nail him a few more times, we might have something here. He took a lot of damage. I'm going to slow down to full speed. Alright, we're about to get some more torpedoes in the water. The nice thing here is, even if I miss him... I might nail a transport or two in the process. Here we go. Torpedoes in the water. How's this guy coming on his? He just hasn't launched him yet. Come on, baby. I've got him. I've got him. No way he's getting away from all of these. Oh, then again, he might. Oh, boy. He is. Wow. That is luck right there, dude. If he had been five feet further in either direction, he'd have been hit. Oh. Man, we got to be careful now because, yeah, he's about to sink number two. I took my chances getting up close trying to hurry up and sink him. Another spread of torpedoes is going to miss. Oh.
Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Lead torpedoes got him. Two torpedoes got him. One, two. Neither one caused that much damage, though. Oh. Darn it. And now it looks like this one's lost his ability to maneuver. Oh. And there it goes. I'm down to one destroyer. Sink. Sink, baby. Sink. Come on. Uh, he's getting a handle on it. And I am not close to having another spray of torpedoes ready to go. I think he's got me. Let's move out fast before he can... Boy, what's going on here? What's he... He must be damaged. He's not firing. Oh, yes he is. Okay. Takes six minutes to reload the torpedoes. Ooh. He's not moving much. I really just need one right dead center, and I've got him. Oh, oh! Every shot he he unleashes on me right now makes me nervous. Yikes. Okay, that's bad. He might have me. He's going to sink me before I can get these torpedoes off. Darn it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm a sitting duck though, I just can't hardly move and the whole rear end of my ship is underwater. I've got him, but will I live to tell about it? I don't think so. Ugh. And he sank me. Oh man. Okay, so... I took out his cruiser, but I lost my last ship. All right, so that was close. So I'm ready to try that one again. We'll see how it ends up. Okay, we're into round two on this thing now, and his cruiser's way out in front of his transport, so I've gone ahead. I took a few shots at the cruiser. I actually landed some hits with my five-inch guns. I uh, actually brought a structural down to 94%. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn and start looking at these transports. And if all of them are right behind him here, I might be able to take some of them out before I even have to deal with his cruiser. I did add an extra set of torpedo tubes, too, here. So uh, I've now got eight torpedo tubes on each ship. I sacrificed a tiny bit of speed to do that. I brought it down by one knot. Um, but otherwise, didn't do a whole lot. So we're targeting three different transports at the same time. I can see four of them. We'll see if my torpedoes land. It looks like I just, yep, I just landed a big hit with a torpedo. So big that I think we're gonna split this guy in half. It's a nice shot right in the middle of him. And I think we're gonna sink him. One torpedo, that's what happens when you've got really strong torpedoes, which I do. And they're actually out toward that cruiser now. I think he's gonna avoid them though. Let's hit this guy because he's nice and close. He hasn't landed a big hit on me with his cruisers yet. His cruiser. I'm 
I'm actually going to kind of stay on this side of him for now. Let him stay on that side of the transports. I'm just going to pick at these transports for a little bit. And in the process, by launching my torpedoes at the transports, maybe something will sneak through on the cruiser. Let's see how we're doing on this guy. Number two is about to go down. Here comes a spray of torpedoes. They'll probably fin He's probably going to be still. Yeah, he's going to be dead before it even hits him. He's going to get hit by two of them anyway. That's two transports down. Working on number three now. And he's got his cruiser way out there. He's, he's probably got the fifth transport out there by him. that guy let's go after this one now he landed a pretty significant hit on the Tatra a lot of fire. I may not be able to stop that. Alright, I guess I did. Nice. Oh, I guess they're all called Tatra. Okay. Going down, baby. Going down. Bye bye. Got some big shots coming across my bow. Almost out of torpedoes on one of my launchers. About to take out number four, but he's got another one hiding somewhere. There he is. Nice. We might be able to do this without worrying about the cruiser at all. Alright, I'm going to speed up if I can. Ooh, faster I can get past this guy, the better. Want to 
to get up toward that other one. Honestly, at this distance, I could probably land some nice torpedo shots on the cruiser. Might not be, might not be a bad idea to give it a try. Here we go. Let's see how they do. Let's slow down to normal speed. I feel like these have to get him. Oh yeah, I've got him. I don't know how much they're going to do, but we're going to hit them with at least three. Maybe even four. Boom. That was nice. Four torpedo hits. Is that going to be enough water to take him down? Did a lot of structural damage. At the very least, I might have slowed him down. Alright, let's finish him off. Then I'll worry about these last two transports. Coming in for the kill now. with a couple torpedoes there. Oh no, those are his. Oh, darn it. He's gonna get me with two. That that one's going down. She's gonna sink. Yep. Yeah, well, I guess if I can hit him at close range, he can do the same to me. All right, I'm gonna slow down. No, not you. I want this guy separated. Oh, you're kidding me. His torpedoes are a little quicker to reload than mine are. Or he's just got more of them. Alright, I got a little, uh, got a little reckless here thinking I could take him out that easily. forgot he still had torpedoes that could do some damage to me. I've got another one about to hit him. Actually, another few about to hit him, and this should be enough. I really hope it's enough. Come on, baby. That might hit him right in the spot where he hasn't taken water yet. If not, the other one sure will. Oh, bye-bye, buddy. Bye-bye. There's no way he survives that. He's got water all the way along the bottom. I can't believe he's still floating. get this other other ship in range because they've got available torpedoes ready to go I can't believe I can't take him down just gotta be careful because one big salvo from his 11 inch guns which are about to fire oh I got lucky there
Little smoke screen. Not that it matters from this close, but hey. Not the ideal angle to be firing torpedoes at. He's going to miss with all of them. That was some terrible torpedo firing right there. Unreal. Okay. Next time we're going to be in the right position to hit him with these torpedoes. trouble now. Did I hit? My torpedoes way off in the distance nailed that other transport. Alright, so now I would I had this guy about sunk and still had all four of my all four of my destroyers alive and now I might lose this thing. Torpedo is about to be launched. I'm going to take out the cruiser first. Oh, that other one just sank. I won the mission. Okay. Ah, I wanted to take out that cruiser in the worst way. But hey, a win's a win. It got ugly at the end. But there you have it. Your first look, at least my first look, at using destroyers and uh, kind of getting to know some of their strengths and weaknesses. And I wish I'd had a few more of them for that mission, but that'll do the trick. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Leave those comments. I'm learning more and more all the time. I'm slowly becoming adequate as a captain. Got a long way to go, and I recognize that, but I've enjoyed the conversation. So we'll see you again soon.